The fact that I'm standing here trying to be animated in front of a camera with a green screen behind me is symbolic of where our story starts. Technology strategy is business strategy. What's in fashion? Technology. Is touching every facet of our life. This overarching theme of disruption through automation is the primary driver behind the work we're doing here at Alphacution, a research and advisory platform dedicated to studying the impacts of technology on the global financial services ecosystem. All research platforms are trying to sell you intelligence. And all of those research partners and research platforms are data dependent, as we are. But here's where a bit of our value proposition comes in. As far as we can tell, most of our peers are engaged in expert opinion and outreach and survey methods based on what people are saying and not so much based on what people are doing. It's a research methodology that tends to be biased towards the subjective. And so the question is, well, what if we tried to look at this world, this industry, and the segments within it, asset management and banking and trading and so forth, and apply a more quantitative research methodology that is biased towards more objectivity. Now this approach starts with one very simple question. What do banks spend on technology? And from there, it turns out a number of fascinating discoveries have been made. By studying technology spending patterns through time, you begin to understand detailed aspects of operational shifts, maybe even call it digital transformation. And certainly, you get a better understanding of the profitability potential of the underlying business model. Now extend that to the modeling of numerous banks in this example. The comparative value of looking at the nature of digital transformation, the nature of operational leverage, technical leverage versus human capital leverage, and the potential for a business model to have margin of profitability, and then compare those across like companies in a community, you begin to open up this incredible understanding about leaders and laggers and what is actually shifting in this particular segment of the ecosystem. Now with our strategy, we take the exercise even a step further than that. All data has contextual value. So if we design our modeling exercise, we can actually create context to estimate, or more credibly estimate, numbers and values and growth rates and margins and all kinds of other analytics in cases where we don't have observable data. We think of it kind of like solving a massive Sudoku puzzle. So that if we are modeling 360 degrees of the global financial services ecosystem, it turns out that in cases where we don't have observable data, we can leverage contiguous modeling, neighboring modeling, to more credibly estimate what's going on in terms of technology spending patterns, operational leverage, margin potential, growth potential, declining potential, all these different kinds of analytics for areas that is either private and secretive, like hedge funds, or simply may not have the level of transparency in their regulatory filing since there aren't a lot of standards around the reporting of this data. It's important to know that we're on a road not taken, and this is at least a big part of our value proposition. Hopefully the other part of the value proposition is actually eating at our own kitchen, actually engaging with the tools and methods of the digital era, and not being the type of research provider that tells all their clients to be digital and yet remains analog themselves. So we're excited about this series, we're passionate about this work, and our goal is to provide a new level of intelligence allowing our clients and broader network to better understand how technology 
is impacting business performance. And inversely, what impact that is happening on the mass shift in skills mix for human capital, since human capital and technology are really the two primary engines of productivity. So we're going to get into a lot of new language, some of it new vernacular, some of it visual language, and we expect it to be a fascinating journey. One thought I want to leave you with. Consider that the journey of discovery is not necessarily in seeking new landscapes, but in having new eyes. Welcome to Alphacution Rifts.